Sharing it out. There's an Amazon person here. Say hi when you get on, guys. I'm just sharing things out real quick. That way we can get as many people on here as possible. All right. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Leanne. Oh, thank you. Yes, it is cold here today. So I like have a sweater and everything on. I've got the heater on again. It's like, what is it saying? It's 38 degrees outside right now. So I'm like, oh, it's, it's so cold and I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> Hi, Carla. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Tony. All right. So who's ready for some Raquel Welsh? Like all new styles we haven't seen in a while. And I've got like basically like one of almost every color too. Hi, Sheila. Am I feeling better? Yes, Leanne. Yeah. Last weekend I was feeling like really good and now I feel like pretty normal. It's just really cold outside it's like 38 degrees and it says it feels colder according to my computer like wind chill or something it's so uncomfortable i have the heater on hopefully that doesn't bother anyone with the noise because it's freezing <laughs> hi tiana good to see you too hi sandy hi joe all righty so i know i'm just a little bit early so where's charlie as soon as she gets here then i'll start going because i've got i think i counted got 23 wigs I think to go over a whole bunch of different colors and lengths and everything so we're all good Leanne says cold here too it had been really warm for weeks yeah see what happens here is it never snows <laughs> it just gets really cold but it's really dry at the same time and then when it gets warmer it rains so we always miss out on the snow because the precipitation is gone <laughs> hi Wendy Happy Saturday. It's freezing here too. Right, Shirley? I bet. You probably got snow. Didn't you tell me there was supposed to be like, I don't want to say like eight feet or it was eight inches or something like that because that's crazy. Ugh. Hi, Martha. Feeling like junk but in bed watching. Oh no. I hope you feel better, Martha. Yeah, it's been going around, man. It's been going around. Oh wow, Margaret. Negative six. <laughs> I, uh, I don't, I wouldn't be able to handle that. That's so cold. Alrighty. We got some people on here. So I guess I'll start with this one. Let's see. Shirley says, hello, ladies, and thank you for being here. We did get a little snow, but only a little. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mary Jane says it's freezing here, too. Yeah. No, I believe it. It's, it must be like another cold front coming through is what's going on. But, so... It's all Raquel Welsh tonight, unless there's some sort of um, request. I know that I have a wig out for Solitaire that she wanted to see, so I've got that one out. Um, but I know that tonight's discount code is 30. It's Allison, A-L-L-I-S-O-N, 35, and that is going to be off of Raquel Welsh, I believe, is just what it's for. So that way you can get a larger discount on some Raquel Welsh. Happy Saturday to you too, Natalie. Our high in Oregon is 48 and lots of rain. Yeah, it was pretty cold all day long here. I know at one point I was like, wow, it's 41? I don't even know what temperature it says. It says it's 38 right now here, but it feels colder. So cold in Denver. I bet that, I bet, Sharon. Hi, Shay. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get started. And I will start with this one. So I went ahead and put her up so that you could see that she's easy to put up first. This is mesmerized and this is in the color deepest ruby so i will tell you because there's a mix of heat safe and non-heat safe and the caps are all like there's a huge vast difference between them so i'll definitely take the time to go over them 
but this is a heat safe one. It's got, I would say, a regular amount of density. It's pretty normal. I wouldn't say it's low. I wouldn't say it's high. And it is very easy to style and do any sort of parting if you want. Of course, I'm like not mirrored, so I can't see, but you can see there's, where is it? There it is. As you can see, you can easily part it and then easily put it back when you want. This is also a really good one for volume. Even though, I'll show you the cap in just a second. You can see you flip her, and then she's got lots of pretty volume, like a salon blowout. Love that color, says Margaret. Me too. Joe says I'll take 48 instead of 34. <laughs> right? That color is amazing, says Sharon. Yes, this is deepest ruby. Oh, I look beautiful. Thank you, Martha. Oh, your typo. It's all good. I knew what you meant. <laughs> Gorgeous color, says Joe. Thank you. So just for reference, I am almost 5'3", not quite. So this is the length. It's about bra strap length on me. So it could be a little shorter if you are taller. Uh, I lost you for a second. What wig? This is the Mesmerized Shirley, and this is in the color Deepest Ruby. You can see here is her beautiful part line. You could see it on me how good it was. This one was one of mine to begin with. But you can see how good with my hand underneath, how well the part line looks. Hello ladies, share two time Beepus Ruby is lovely, says Julia. Hi Julia, thank you for coming in. Oh wow, what's this? <laughs> That's how you know it's mine. So this one here has a full monofilament crown. It has a lace front from ear to ear and it has velvet ear tabs that are moldable. This also has where it is hand tied through this segment. There's a couple of wigs that have this kind of wig, wig cap construction also. And then it has where it is closed wefted, so it's like where it's sewn onto the actual cap here. The adjusters are hidden within here. It has an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. Oh, Anna. Oh, Carolyn. I'm Allison, but if you're saying hi to someone else, then that's okay. But hello to you, Carolyn. And Dominica. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much and welcome in. All right, so here she is, and I've got all the reds that I can show up against this too to go ahead and compare if you want to see that also. So I will leave her out. Uh, let's see. Hello, Colleen. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Brenda. All right, so I'm gonna go and put my wig cap on because I've got quite a few that are not mine. Just This one here is the Milano just wig cap grip so it covers everything and it has the wig grip here oh thank you Jill that's so nice hi Cheryl yep there we go all right so the first one that I've got here this is a beautiful gray and these fibers are extremely soft so this is portrait mode and this is in the color iced granada so here we go. This is a full monofilament crown here, a lace front that goes ear to ear, and it has the velvet lined ear tabs that are moldable. It is open wefted, so you've got nice breathability in there. You have an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjuster. Oh no, you're good, Carolyn. It's all good. We've had a whole bunch of faces come in and everything too, so I get it. Hi, Ian. Hi, Susan. Thank you for sharing, Dominica. Yes, if you guys haven't shared, please do. And like Shirley is posting each time with the links that there is a sale tonight on Raquel Welsh that if you want to save 35%, just use Allison35. That is Allison with two L's. All right, so here is Portrait Mode in Ice Granada. So she has where she is lighter, like pale, pale silver white in the front, and then it changes to where it is nice and it is mixed more sort of like salt salt and pepper but more onto the pepper or er, salt side and then the ends here has a bit more pepper she's got right above the shoulder for the most part and with the mono top you can part her anywhere here is her lace front you can see that is very good very nice lace front in there and she's got a lot of beautiful volume too it is so pretty okay I shared to my Facebook friends all of them. Oh, thank you, Alicia. Oh, thank you, Marlene. Thank you. Uh, Sharon says, I love it, and it looks great with your warm, cozy, cute sweater, too. Yes. 
<laughs> now I was so uncomfortable. I have like a nice shirt on underneath and I was like, I'm just going to put that on and look cute. And then I was like, I'm freezing. So people can just like my sweater. <laughs> so here we are. She's got good hair movement. Beautiful color. I really like this. And she is got enough length that if you wanted to pull her back, you could, or you could do it from the top where you have a nice clip due to the monofilament. You could take her like this. And that is a cute style also right out of your face. Very beautiful. Gorgeous style says Joe. I agree. This is really quite pretty. Thank you for sharing Dominica. Hi, Anna. Anna Jones, Terry Murray. <laughs> Portrait mode is such a beautiful and easy style to wear. Absolutely, Marlene. That's what I noticed when I first got this one out. I was like, wow, this is, this is something actually, because there's a lot of the times when I have issues with Raquel Welsh, and there's a couple where that happens, but I can try and show you how I work with that. Hi, Lee. Says, I'm looking forward for the comparison of reds. You look great. Hi, Shirley. Greetings from Greece. Oh, hi. Uh, Andro T or Katarina. There we go. It's like your name is backwards. Okay. Janet says, please advise if a wig is doable for a smaller head. Uh, okay. I need to nip it in a little if it's about density. Okay, Janet. Yeah. So this one I have, I have a, my circumference around is 21 and three quarters, and I usually take mine in almost all the way. But this one with a wig cap grip on, which adds bulk all the way around, I have not taken this one in at all. So this one I would say is more snug fitting, especially when I put this on with it. If I didn't have it on, I'm not sure if I'd feel the same way, but I can't really do that because these aren't my wigs. But I would say, because I feel like this one is more snug without it even being taken in, that this one would probably be a good one as well for somebody with a 20 and a half inch. Hi, Maureen. Um, I'm looking for a long style and a color like Beltra's cream soda blonde, which we know is discontinued. Okay, Cheryl. Yeah, um, I do have... I have a shaded biscuit, which is the rooted version of biscuit, which is essentially the same as cream soda blonde. So I can show you that one and then you can just imagine it without the root. Um, I can show you when we get there. And that one is mid length about here, but there are longer styles for sure. Very cute, says Susan. Thank you. Cheryl says very pretty. This is adorable on you. Thank you. Um, oh my goodness. Melissa, what was the name of this one again? This is portrait mode. Oh, you love my sweater? Oh, thank you, Cheryl wear so many different colors lucky girl oh thank you wendy all right hi luann and hi jan all right let's go on to the next one if anyone wanted to see that more up close you can see the colors mixed through it's really just a beautiful gray really well done very natural looking all right so the next one is one that i know that i have been asked about a couple of times about people wanting to see her so this is, this is Bella Vita, and this is in Shaded Iced Cafe Latte. So this one has the same sort of cap as like Flying Solo, which I do have to show here. I'm getting gray slowly, but I'd wear that when the first, when, they, when the time came. Oh, who am I? I'm kidding. I love brunettes, says Joe. Whatever you're comfortable with, man. That's why I will wear whatever I'm in the mood for. You're welcome, Melissa. Hi, Eileen. Very pretty, says Jan. Hi, I love these wigs, Je says Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. All right, so here we go. Got a nice lace front here. It goes ear to ear, and you have the silicone ear tabs that are moldable. You do have a left-sided lace part. However, this entire section that you can see that looks like a different color is hand-tied. So you can theoretically ignore the part and part it wherever you want. It just won't look like it's flat. I'll show you what I mean by that real quick. So I still have the crisscross in there, but... So when you break this and you have that lace part, this is what it looks like for anyone who doesn't know already, is that when you put my hand under there, you can see here's the part with my hand underneath and you can see that I am like trying to get the angle right. Wrong way. But it would be here 
you can see my hand underneath. And then if you were to say, I don't care about that, and then part it on the side, what would end up happening is it wouldn't look like difficult or not real or anything like that. It would just be more plucked and you could see uh, like nodding. So it would end up looking like this. You can see my hand underneath like that. And when I put it back on my head, I'll show you what that looks like also. But to continue with the cap, we have now where it has where it is fully hand tied through this extremely large section here. And then it is closed wefted on the cap down here. And it's still quite stretchy because of all of the hand tied parts there. And then this here also is that where it's hidden within the cap, a uh, silicone extended nape and Velcro adjusters. This is hot now. All right, so this is the color. This one is, if anyone wants to see it with, cr uh, not cream soda blonde, but the um, brown sugar sweet cream, I could pull one of those out because I feel like this is kind of on that similar page here. Uh, I love these wigs, they are good quality, says so Cheryl. Yes, uh, Raquel Welsh is a super popular brand and I'll, like honestly, everyone who tries them likes them. Their fibers are super nice and their styles are super easy to wear. They come right out of the box looking like this. <laughs> like I promise I didn't do anything to it. Uh, Bella Vita versus Big Spender, similar, I will show. So the big difference with that would be that there's a monofilament on the big spender, but they both do kind of have the same sort of similar vibe going on to a degree. The curl pattern is different, and I think big spender is a little bit longer. But let me see. Yeah, big spender is longer and the curl pattern is different. There's the link you can see. The cap construction's a little different. Love it, says Margaret. Yes, Margaret, you were the one who asked about this one the last time. The Bella Vita. Look at hair, there we go. Uh, yes, okay, so she's definitely long enough that you can put, put her up like this. And as I was saying, you can take this, let me just look in the mirror and just ignore the lace parting because of it being mono top or hand tied. You can see if you don't want to part it on the left, you can part it somewhere else. This is what it looks like due to the hand tied bit. This is where the parting is, which is a little denser, but so get that. here is the lace part or yeah, there's the lace part. It's a little on the denser side, but if you ignore it like I did and just go through the actual hand tied part, then it's fine. I would say when it comes to density, this one is especially dense through like this whole segment right here. There's a lot of hair in here, but there's no permatease. Do it being hand tied, it's just a lot of hair just by itself. This is kind of like where if you wanted to shake her out, you could, let's see. I just put her in the right spot again. So this is giving me like 90s mom vibes for some reason. It's very pretty though. Okay, so there she is. Okay, pretty color. Looks so natural, matches your sweater. Oh, thank you, Susan. Thank you, Lee. What color is the Bella Vita you're wearing? This is the iced, iced, uh, shaded iced cafe latte. It's on your list in color also. Okay. Uh, does Raquel Welsh make a style similar to Beltrass Newport? I'm loving my Newport, but really want some more color options. Uh, I do have an unfiltered. I'm not quite sure how similar those are. Um, I can take that out when I get to that one, Sharon. Do you have it in other colors? Reds? No, Margaret. I only have the Bella Vita in one color, but I do have... A bunch of different reds that that one does come in so like for instance if you liked the deepest ruby which is this one you could imagine it on this style with a little bit of wave in it this would be the color that it would come in that way you can see it like that 
All right, and so the next one, let's see. Oh, this is a long one. I think this is downtime. Oh, this is statement style, okay. And this is in shaded wheat. So that would be the RL1422 SS. And this one has a really beautiful style. And the cap is just so interesting, honestly, too. So, whoops, it's got a full monotop lace front ear to ear with Velcro, or excuse me, velvet ear tabs. <laughs> me ahead of myself. There is the adjusters hidden in here that are Velcro. The extend, the innate is not extended. However, the biggest thing I'm stumbling over is because I can't wait to tell you, <laughs> is that this entire thing is 100% hand tied. 100%. There is no closed wefting in there. And this is incredibly comfortable and soft. So this is just super pretty and super comfortable. <laughs> like stumbling over myself. Uh, let's see. Uh, Allison, when you flip your hair up and down, it shows new ladies how, yes, how great the wigs stay on. Exactly. Uh, you don't need to dig it out. I'm just curious if you know of something similar. I can scope it out on the website. Oh, okay, Sharon. Just let me know. I mean, I, it's really not that big of a deal. I've got them all sitting right here. All right, so. Like a lot of the Raquel Welsh ones, they have wear. This is very big head friendly. Let me just start by saying that. I have what's considered a petite to average size head. And I have where it will buckle like this, where the lace puckers, and there's really nothing I can do about it except for maybe taking it in or trying to place it down easily. But if you are a big head girly and need all the extra room, something like this will give you a ton of space, like for sure, because this is big on me, just with the head grip and everything. These are heat friendly fibers. Yes, these are heat friendly. You love the deepest ruby, Margaret? Me too. Hi, Fonda. Will you be doing some Raquel toppers tonight? No, Ellen, I don't have hair. So there's nothing to blend it into. Uh, such a beautiful style. I have a 21 and a half and was pretty large on me too. Right, Marlene, absolutely. Hi, Haley. So yeah, this is, let's see, if I were to let's say take her in all the way and see what the kind of difference is. So when I say take her in all the way, I mean where you uh, move the adjusters, I'm gonna move them right under where the tags are so there is no more room. That or the other thing you can do is actually cross them so there's even less room. But because of it being hand tied, there is just way more room in there than I need. So that is, yeah, you can see even all the way in, it still wants to pucker, but this is where you could adhere it down with glue or tape. Hi, Dolores. You're very welcome, Ellen. Gorgeous color and style. Let me turn around and show you. And so the one thing I can show also, like Joe pointed out, is that when it comes to a wig that is too big on you, if you wear a grip crap, a <laughs> a wig cap or grip and then you can still flip your head and it won't go flying off. I can pull on it like this and the wig is not going to come off. So if you were concerned about even that with a larger size wig, it will still fit you and it will not fly off. Yes, you had to crisscross the adjusters, Marlene. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is such a pretty color and you can see here are the lighter bits in the front to help with not having the darker roots right in the front for you, especially for people who wear blondes. You were explaining the puckering. I've had that too. Yeah, Leanne, I have a lot of Raquel Welsh. I actually have two of my own that do that, and you have to really glue them down or really try and angle them on correctly, but there's there is a way to do it. I just don't have any glue, and if I glue it down, then it's like, then it's on for right now, you know? Do they feel bigger than the Beltrus hand tied slash Lux ones? Oh, absolutely, Haley. Yeah, I've never had a Beltrus that puckers right here ever. I've had multiple Raquel Welsh do it, and there are several in here that do it to me, unfortunately. But I will point it out that way people who have larger heads or smaller heads know which ones would be good for them. Uh, Shirley says, I have the same issue with some of the Raquel wigs. They tend to want to pucker and the lace lifts. Using a wig grip or cap with a little wig glue or tape fixes that problem. Right, exactly, 100%. What's the name of this wig? Angie, that was Statement Style. Yeah, 
Statement style in shaded wheat. Nice root. It is a warm blonde, but it's not too warm. It is, I would say, neutral leaning warm for sure. All right, so the next one I have got here is... This is unfiltered, the one I was talking about when it comes to being maybe similar to Newport to a degree. Um, and this is in the Shaded Iced Pumpkin Spice. So before we show the color and everything, this has the same cap. It's like a big spender if you're familiar with that. It has a full monofilament and a lace front that goes ear to ear with velvet ear temps that are moldable. And here you have where there is silicone all over the pieces here. It is to grip your head. It has an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. How does the Bella Vita cap fit? Sheila, it fits um, better on me for sure. I have a flying solo of my own where I don't have to wear it with this and it fits well. I don't really have too much of a lifting issue. When I do get to the flying solo, I will show you for sure about the lace puckering. I just got the bell truss and it's buckling. Oh, says Angie. Oh, okay. Do you wear that with a wig grip too? Wow, I thought the puckering was just me. That sounded bad. <laughs> Joe. Mm. Okay. Gorgeous. Thanks, Allison. You're very welcome, Haley. All right. So let me just get her. All right. So this is unfiltered. And because I have the wig grip and stuff on, it does add more bulk and it does still lift a little bit here, but this is, I mean, I have a medium to average sized head and you can see where it goes right underneath. If your head is larger than mine, you will not have this problem. That's for sure. Raquel Welsh even comes out with larges and a lot of her sizes, but here's this beautiful color and you can see how good that is. Let me just come through here and make it look more straight. <laughs> so that is, that's a really good hairline, honestly. It, the part looks fantastic. And as far as the lace needing to be laid down, if I were to force it, you can then see how it does lay down and it is invisible looking when you get it laid down. So the hair quality is very good. The denier feels natural. This color is really pretty. I've actually never seen this color look this what this good I, I still think that the one wig that i got in it is like defective all the way the way all the way around because this is so so pretty surely sorry about the mix-up on my order last night wasn't coming through on my answer oh, all right unfiltered yes cap and grip straight press 23 but straight press 18 fits uh i believe the difference between those two is because one is a lace part and the other one is a lace mono if i remember correctly mine i'm sorry auto reaction to that color <laughs> right eileen this is such a beautiful color and especially on the style it's so cute so i would say as far as being like newport there is there's more here more more hair here for sure there's a little more density um, but that it's still got the, if I work into it, there's got the tendrils that kind of go like that. Just bring them together a bit more. Yeah, so they kind of go like this. It does have the same where it's above here. I would say because it's a little shorter in the back, it's not all the way around. This is kind of in between a Newport and a Los Angeles, as I, if I had to say. It's just I got a bit more hair and the cap is a full mono instead. It's 20 to 24 and I have uh, considered small. Yes, Marsha. It's really similar to Newport. Yeah, absolutely. Love that one. Super pretty, says Haley. Thank you. So realistic and pretty. Absolutely. I just love the realistic hairlines and parts. Right, Tony? That's like a deal breaker for me. If it, if it looks bad, which this one doesn't, it looks super realistic. I just couldn't. The real name of this color is simply Shirley's color. <laughs> you got it. 100%. Love, love, love your unfiltered, Anna. Uh, you are right. Unfiltered does look like Newport. I love it. And pumpkin spice. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. You're very welcome, Sharon. Here is a closer look. You can see here is the rooting color. Let's just get that out of the way. It's the rooting color. And here is the beautiful shade. You can see it is really just the perfect. There's blonde. There's brown. There's different shades of red and copper in there. It's, it's really quite stunning in person such a gorgeous gorgeous color i ordered peerless yesterday and wondering is citrus mint gone for good says shauna hi phelan 
uh, citrus mint. I think they discontinued that one, if I remember correctly. They're identical except for the length. Oh, okay, Angie. Yeah, I don't, I think I have one straight press and that's it. So this next one I have is Voltage. And I got a couple of short ones because I had a couple that were no longer on the website. But this is Glazed Cinnamon. And that way, you ladies who like the shorter styles, there is something for you to see here. So this one has a basic cap. And it has where it is velvet lined right here, so it's comfortable on your head. It's open wefted. It has a little bit of an extended nape, but the only part that is velvet is where the Velcro works. The ear tabs are also open, but they have sewn hair on there, so it is helping with the realism. Uh, looks, looked at dual roll. Oh, thank you, Anna, thank you. Yes, yeah, Citrus Mint has been discontinued. Um, Haley says, I love watching your lives, Allison. You do such a great job. I was so nervous. I could tell, girlfriend. I could tell. Yeah. Um, it really does get much easier with time. So I was super nervous the first, I don't even know how many times I did it. And it was just, over time it gets easier. And it has to do with the fact that you interact with the group. You don't feel like you're alone. And it's just, it becomes like almost like camaraderie in, in a way, if that makes sense. And so... I look forward to it now. I'm like, oh, I got to go live. I got to plan my live. And I will literally plan what makeup I put on, what outfit I put on, so it matches with the whole thing. And that's the sort of, I think it helps over time. This is so cute. So this is not heat friendly. It is a shorty. It does have permatease up here with the wig grip on with the cap and whatnot. I have not taken this one in, and it does feel a little bit more on the snug side, I would say. Um, so if you have a smaller head and you're worried about the large ones, this one is not on the large side, in my opinion. Let's go with the green one. And that's what she looks like with a headband, which is super cute. This is glazed cinnamon. But I think over time, Haley, I think you'll you'll enjoy it more and it won't be such a nervous thing i mean shirley even told me that when she started doing it she was nervous and then as time went on she was no longer so freaked out about it it became like second nature and she was just like yeah, it's whatever i'm live <laughs> right uh let's see do i have lauren by yes i do angie i do have lauren by beltress uh so much fun. I love how you engage with everyone. I try. And sometimes my lives go super long because I'm just talking to everyone. <laughs> like you guys were like one hour done. And I just have to read the comments. A cutie. Thank you, Susan. Uh, Rita says, please don't be nervous with us. We appreciate these shows so much. Absolutely, Rita. I also watch them too. <laughs> I can't get enough about wigs. I'm obsessed just like everyone here. I find glazed cinnamon is close to rusty auburn. I do have a rusty auburn and I can compare those. All right, so let me put this on and I'll do that. This right here is Editor's Pick Elite and this is in the color Shaded Honey Ginger. Okay, so this is the Elite version. I will, they, it comes in a regular version also along with a petite and a large cap, I think, because this is a super popular style. Hi, Andy. All right, so this is a full monofilament with a lace front that goes ear to ear with the velvet ear tabs that are moldable. It has where it says it's 100% hand tied, but it's only 100% hand tied through here. This is all closed wefted, as you can see the lines. And this one does stretch, but not an egregious amount. This would be good for someone with no hair or a super sensitive scalp, or because it doesn't stretch as much, a smaller head. So this is got an extended velvet nape, Velcro adjusters, and the adjusters are hidden within the cap there. So I actually really like this style. Shirley told me this is her favorite one. And she told me the Elite would probably, I would probably like it more due to not having hair. And I have to agree. I really love this style. This is super easy to wear. I think it's super flattering too. There were people I saw it on where it just seemed big, but it doesn't, it actually doesn't come across that way. It's so pretty. Uh, 
personal touch of talking with us is refreshing in today's world. Rightly, I really try and take the time because like I, I say it every time, this is like a super personal thing. People want to ask questions. They want to know everything. And of course, if they are learning from you, they sometimes want to know just a little bit more about you also. So I get that. I'm very happy to be able to talk with all of you and have such a great time. Hi, oh, Dolores saying hi to Shirley. Whoop. It's good you can change, says Scott. Yeah, I can change my hair. That's for sure. You love Editor's Pack, Andy? Me too. All right. So I was going to say the Rusty Auburn, which I have right here, and the Glazed Cinnamon. Once I can find the hand. There we go. So just so you know, this one right here is not heat safe, and this one is. So they're going to look a little different as far as the fibers go. So I would say they are they're very similar, except for the fact that you can tell that this one is not heat safe. Other than that, absolutely. They are like 100% like along the same vein. For sure. So you have a good eye there. I think that was Eileen who said that. Where was it? Nope. Yeah, it was. It was Eileen. There we go. <laughs> you love editor's pick, Andy? Me too. Oh, yeah. Don't be nervous. You're doing a fantastic job. You're a natural Allison, and Haley did a great job for a beginner. Absolutely. Thank you, Susan. All right, so here we go. There is editor's pick, and I can show you with the mono top and it being like that, how easy you can easily just, so there is the part line. I can go down the middle just very easily. There she is again. And on the side here, very easy just to part, just bing, 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 just, and you can easily go like this with her and get volume. She's a gorgeous wig. Shirley, you're right. <laughs> this is a fantastic wig. <laughs> I, I really love this. And this color is actually super pretty too. I've never seen it before. And this is the Shaded Honey Ginger. Super pretty. Like the curls and just the volume and the ease of motion with the hair. It's it's so fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley's like, I am right. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Absolutely. It's a gorgeous wig. I definitely need one. <laughs> All right, so here we have Cinch, and this is going to be in Shaded Golden Wheat. So she has a full sort of basic cap again. It has where it's got the velvet here. You can see the little bit of permatease to help with lift from the face. It is open wefted. Here is the little bit of extended nape, but same as before with, um, what was it, Voltage, I think. It has where the only part where there is actual velvet is where the Velcro is secured. And then here are the ear tabs that are open with hair sewn on. Diane, if you click on the link that Shirley is dropping, you can go straight to the website and then you can use 35% off with the code Allison35. That is Allison with two L's. So this one's really cute too. Let's see. Got some nice what I like is there are bangs here, but you can put them to the side or you can wear them down if you want. And so you have the pieces on the sides here that can frame the face. And you have where it's just so cute. You can then lift it up with a little bit more volume if you want. Just like that. And again, with the headbands, because I think the short hair always looks fantastic with a headband. Super pretty. And this one here is Cinch. Yes. And this is in Shaded Golden Wheat. All righty. Uh, this is Trendsetter, and I have her in Glazed Strawberry. This is another kind of short one, but it's a little bit longer. So this one has a full basic cap, uh, easy shake and go wig, right, Julia? Cute on me, thank you, Marlene. Can you wear the bangs back? Give me a second, I'll put it right back on. Here's the velvet right here to make it comfortable, open wefted and stretchy. It has the same sort of thing as before. This is the only part the Velcro is on. There is, um, or excuse me, the velvet, this is the Velcro adjusters, is open ear tabs with a lot of hair sewn on there. So there's a ton of realism added there. Let me show her real quick with this, the headband. 
So, Lori, this one doesn't have a lace front. So this is what it would look like if you pulled it back. It has a hard front. However, if you were to say put her back not so severely and you were to say do it probably like kind of like this. I mean, you could potentially get away with it, but this is all permatees right here, which is why it looks so dark but there's really the bangs here they really don't want to hang in your face and they're super easy with just your hands to go like this and move them out of the way so they move right out of the way and you could take a headband from this point and push it back for sure and then you wouldn't you just have where this is some fringe and it's right above my eyes and my forehead is only two inches long so i really don't have a lot of uh, bang real estate if you will <laughs> Yes, I love handbands, headbands with my short wigs. Yes. All right, here is Trendsetter. You're welcome, Lori. I know it can be confusing. So this is such a pretty color. I really like the glazed strawberry color. This one reminds me of the Trezalor, um razor cut shag, like by a lot, <laughs> as far as how the style fits and what it looks like. You can shake her out. And of course, this is not heat safe either. Shirley says, I love trendsetter. She is definitely a throw and go wig. Absolutely. Like you can just run your hands through it depending on how you want to style her. She's got the pieces on the side. If you want those down to help with realism, you can really get in there like this. And this is also a really pretty one for wear. Headband again. <laughs> there you go. It's just a little bit, a little something else. All right, so in comparison to the glazed cinnamon, this is what she looks like. You can see this one is much darker, but they are both definitely warm. They both have red in it. This one has just got a lot of blonde happening. So this is glazed cinnamon, and this is glazed strawberry. They are both not heat safe. All right. So then we're going to go back to Miss Rusty Auburn. Here she is. This is on Limelight. And this is the color Rusty Auburn. This one is heat safe. This one also has a full monofilament right here. Full monofilament, lace front. It has the velvet ear tabs that are moldable. It is open wefted and very stretchy. This one gives a lot as the wefts are not close together. This has got an extended nape here and the Velcro adjusters. Another, another red color option. It's pretty. All right, so let's see. The other heat safe reds I've shown already, and which I will compare to this one, go as we go along. This one is the Shaded Iced Pumpkin Spice. Yes, Shaded Iced Pumpkin Spice next, next to Rusty Auburn. This one is not rooted. This one is. This one's got a little bit of where it is more red, in my opinion, and this one is more of a natural coppery red color. Oh, thank you so much, Julia. Thank you. And this is the deepest ruby in comparison. You can see that this one is definitely a cool red as opposed to a warm red. Like this one is warm, this one is cool, but they are both red. This one like is basically purple looking in comparison. Yeah, it's such a pretty color. All right, so here she is all the way around. And you can easily put her up because there is so much hair there. She is low density also, so there is not a ton of hair here as far as having the length. There isn't, it's not going to weigh you down. You're not going to feel like you're being choked or drowned in it by any means. Here is a close-up of the colors. It's a beautiful blend in there of reds and blondes. Alrighty. Let's see. All right, here is the flying solo. 
So this is the one that I have where I was going to show. It has the same sort of cap as the Bella Vita. And so I can show when you put this on without something on what it looks like. So it has the exact same cap, lace front with the silicone ear tabs that are moldable, uh, left-sided lace part. This is all hand-tied through this section here. And then it is hand-tied through here also. And then it is closed wefted. It has a silicone nape and Velcro adjusters and the adjuster straps are hidden within the cap. So as far as when I put this one on, there's quite a few, you can see how stretchy that is. Like I can't even actually show you how much room there is, but here, let's see. <laughs> there's a lot of room in there. So even with me taking it in, you can see how much room there is. There's quite a bit of room. However, when I do put this on like this, the lace lays flat. So this kind of cap, for whatever reason, seems to work well with my head or face shape or whatever the deal is. So if you've had lifting before, you might not have issues with this style of wig. Could you compare it to portrait mode? Yes. All right, here is the portrait mode. So the biggest difference is definitely the cap for sure, but I wish I had like another head. That's <laughs> I was telling my mom she needed to come on again, but she had to work. So here is from the back. It's a little bit shorter here, I think, than here. Um, so here, just, I will put it back on. So if you can see, this is what it looks like. This one has the left-sided lace part, but it has where you can ignore it with the mono, the like hand-tied bit here. It does want to go like this on me. I haven't heat trained it. This is what the back looks like. Now keep that in your mind's eye for just a minute. And this one here is open wefted. It is not hand tied. There's no closed wefting. It's full monofilament, however. Oh, that is the wrong wig. Back and forth we go. All right. All right, so here it is with this one. This one has a full monofilament, so you can very easily Put, change the part wherever you want. So it does kind of go like this in the same capacity. Um, I'd say they're very similar, honestly. So it is. it does feel to me when I wear it where it wants to be. Here are the longest pieces. So I'd say they're pretty similar, honestly. I think if you like the style, you'll probably like either one honestly they're very similar and it's literally just cap construction i think the most is what makes them different but those are very similar i would say for someone with no hair this kind of cap construction would be most comfortable which is the one that's got like the silicone to grip and whatnot but for somebody who has has still hair or wants a lower price point then the portrait mode absolutely 100 percent. all right so here is another one, which I can take off this. I just have to remember. This one here is got another cap where it is partially hand tied. This one is straight up with a twist elite. And this is in shaded cappuccino. And I can compare that to, I do have an iced cappuccino. And then I have the iced cafe latte. That way I can show the difference. So here she's got this pretty color. This has the same sort of cap as like a bunch of them, honestly. This is another one. Full monofilament, lace front ear to ear. It has where it is. Here's the hand tied portion. It is through the middle. So you can see it from here all the way across this part. And then this is closed wefted. It has an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. And then this one, I have found that when I wear it, I don't have an issue with the lace front again. See, the lace front is good. It lays down, no problem. So this is a shorter sort of version than like flying solo or the portrait mode. This one is a shorter length for sure. Hi, Judy. Welcome in. So everyone say hi to Judy. She's new. So here is the back and the sides. I like how it comes like this and really kind of caresses your face. 
All right, so this I said was Shaded Cappuccino. This one here is the uh, Shaded Iced Cafe Latte. So you can see that these colors are somewhat similar. There is those colors together. And while I'm here, which I can pick it up again, I will get to this one. This one is uh, Shaded Iced Cappuccino. And that way I can show all three of these together. So the one in the middle I've got is the shaded cappuccino. This one is the shaded iced or yeah, shaded cafe latte. And this is the shaded iced cappuccino. So you can see all the different colors because they're very similar. Everyone's saying, hi, Judy. <laughs> so welcome in. We're just a lovely group of ladies who like having a bunch of friends. Here she is. Very cute. Very pretty. All right. So the next one we have is also mine. <laughs> All right. So this is Black Tie Chic. And this is for the ladies who like brown colors. This is Shaded Hazelnut. This has the same sort of cap construction as Big Spender. So this one fits really well on me also. This is got a lace front that goes ear to ear, which is velvet in multiple full monofilament. It has where the silicone is all the way down here to help with gripping of the head, especially if you have no hair, it really helps. And this is an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. Oh, well, thank you, Lee. I'm glad I found you. Oh, thank you, Judy. All right, so this is, like I said, black tie chic, and this is in shaded hazelnut. So this is a shag and she's super fun. And she's got a great lace front also. This one lays down really well. Um, I don't have an issue with this kind of cap construction for whatever reason. It's just the ones where they are hand tied where they tend to be more of a problem. Hi, Karen. So she's got bangs that you can wear down in the front if you want and they kind of already want to go like this. But if you decide to part them separately, or backwards, kind of like this, they they go just, just fine. This is also not too long of a shag. You can get it to frame the face this way. It does have where it comes up here for lift in the back. And due to the full monofilament, you can part her anywhere. This style is on your wish list, Eileen. Yes, no, she's super cute. So super cute, super easy to wear. I honestly feel like she's a pretty good throw and go because the bangs, for the most part, you can just, with the mono top, you can just move it right out of your face and it really does just come away from the face if you just mess with it just a little bit. Super cute. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> All my friends are coming in. All right, and on the same boat here as the big big spender cap this is big spender and this is an um iced sweet cream so the same cap as we've been seeing recently this full monofilament lace front to the ear tabs that are um velvet lined and moldable it is you can't see it very well in the lighting here but this is also got where it is silicone all the way to help with gripping your head it is an extended nape here and velcro adjusters and you can see i do take them in on this one also because i like the feeling of security and I feel like it helps to lay the lace down more. So she offers a ton of volume and the mono top makes it super easy to throw her around in any sort of direction just like the last couple of wigs where you can run your hands through it, you can put it on the side if you want more volume and she can easily go like this and then you like va va boom. Hi, Allison, says Kathleen and ladies. Yes. Hello, Kathleen. So she's super pretty. Um, as far as this being similar to Bella Vita, I like the style more. And I think it's because the monofilament allows for more uh, movement. 
and I like how it's just a little bit longer down here. It's past my collarbones, which are right here. You can see it's about right there is where the length is. So here's my collarbone. And I like the wave pattern just a little bit more. And she is long enough to put up. And you can put her back in a headband or put her up due to there being an incredible lace front. You can see how good that is. Did I scratch myself? Huh. So she is gorgeous. Does that come in brown? It does, Judy. Yes. Raquel Welsh has a lot of browns. Is there a color that you don't look good in? <laughs> black, Vonda. I don't think I look very good in black, especially if it's a flat black. I feel like it's very difficult to pale, pull off unless you already have like a certain kind of skin tone. Very glamorous, says Susan. I agree. I love this one. So cute, says Tony. Thank you. You look like a movie star. Also. Oh, thank you, Teresa. <laughs> All right. So on to another one. This is Simmer Elite. And there are, this is, this has got a regular version also. But this is one that I got. So it had a hand tied bit to it. So it's a full monofilament lace front that goes ear to ear. Um, this is the hand tied section through here, just like the other ones we've been saying. And it has it's wefted, clothes wefted up to here, extended velvet nape, Velcro adjusters, and hidden adjuster straps. So this is Simmer Elite. It does come in a regular version, which is just not hand tied. It will be open wefted. I do not have one to compare with it. And this is in the color Fiery Copper. So this is another red that Raquel Welsh has. And I can show the other ones in comparison to it if you would like to see that. Um, yes. I did show a brown just before Judy. This one right here, this shaded hazelnut, you could get this one right here. You could get that one in Big Spender. And there's also I think one called like shaded Java or something that's really pretty that's darker. So here is Simmer. She's got a different wave pattern, but she's still kind of like above here. So she's very easy to manage. Mine, oops, says Eileen, right? So she also has the full mono. So if you want, you can then wrong side to come through here and part her. She's kind of been stuck like this for a minute. So, cause this is my wig. So, but there you can go. You can part her on the side if you want or down the middle like I had her, but super easy. And I don't have an issue with the lace lifting. You can see here it's flat and it looks really good. It looks super natural, like it's growing out of my head there. So this one is a good one that fits me for whatever reason. If you have a head like me, there are certain ones that seem to fit and other ones that don't. And this one works really well for me also. There she is, Fiery Copper. Uh, I think the closest colors, I think they're the main reds. Let's see. So here is the ice shaded pumpkin in comparison. You can see this one is more red. This one's more like chunky. It has the copper in it and the blonde bits. And this one's just more red overall. I think that the deepest ruby is still pretty purple in comparison. But you can see there is depth in the fiery copper when you hold the, the deepest ruby next to it. Because there is a darker red than there is in this one in the color mix of fiery copper and where are you there we are this is rusty auburn in comparison these two are not rooted together so you can see that this one doesn't have a root neither does this but you can see this one here has more going on than fiery um than rusted my goodness what color are you rusty auburn <laughs> You can see it's just got a bit more dimension due to the blend and how it looks. All right, there is that. All right. All right, so the next one we have is another one that I believe is fully hand tied. Yeah, this one's another one that's big. Um, it's called Downtime, and this one, unlike the statement style, which is heat safe, this one is not heat safe. Why are you acting like that? I have this one in glazed strawberry, so we could see 
a longer version of it because before it was just in the short one. I have a head like you. Now if I could just get a wrinkle-free face and thin body. Oh my goodness, Shirley. <laughs> Simmer looks especially beautiful on you. Oh, thank you, Rita. Me too. Everyone say me too. It's I'm telling you, it's the carnivore. That's that's the whole thing that did it. Whole thing. And my face. I have like a whole skincare routine with that. And the carnivore actually goes hand in hand with keeping your skin looking good too. Hi, Kimberly. Oh, your kitty cat is cute. Your, your profile picture. So this is a full metal filament and a lace front. This It does not go ear to ear though. It stops right here. And it has the velvet lined and they are moldable. They're, they feel a little different than the other ones. They're like more plush feeling. But this is entirely hand tied. There is no clothes wafting in here. And you can see all the little dots of where the groupings of hair are tied on. It has a regular nape, it's not extended, and the Velcro adjusters. Can you please show a wig in shaded sand? Kim, I don't have one in shaded sand. That one didn't come through. What was the last wig? The last one, Sharon, that one was, it was Simmer. It was Simmer Elite in Fiery Copper. Oh, you're very welcome, Kimberly. Yeah, no, I have, I have two cats of my own here, but there are, I think, eight total living in the house. Can you please show a wig and iced Granada, please? Yes, Karen, I had that in the beginning, but I can hold her up again for you. So this one here, like I said, it's got the whole hand-tied situation. So this is, the lace seems to be behaving a little better, but you can still see where it wants to lift off here. So if you have a bigger head, kind of that whole situation, this will work. However, this style is super pretty. It has a different curl pattern than statement style. This to me is very like romantic, dreamy like waves. And this is not heat safe. So you would have to be okay with that, which honestly, I think for a long length like this, a non heat safe one would actually be better, honestly. You see how pretty she is. This is in the glazed strawberry. So she's got a lot of, a lot of hair to work with here. So if you are taller than me, she will not look as long. But no, she's, curl pattern is really pretty. All right. And here is a close up of the color on the glazed strawberry. And this is again not heat safe so it will be a little more shiny and that can be um turned you can turn that down with using a lot of different ways of doing it here is the iced granada uh karen glazed strawberry was the color of my first wig it is a great strawberry blonde right sheila i thought it was really pretty just i love the dimension in it like you can tell i like fiery copper so i really like the kind of like chunky placement of red and blonde together. So. so here's the Ice Granada Karen, and this is on portrait mode. She's got nice model filament, so you can do that. So you can see this right here, very light in the face. And then as you go through, it becomes more mixed. And then in the back, it is darker, just like if it was growing out of your own head. Showing only Raquel Welsh. How many have I missed? Kimberly, um, I'm about halfway done, but I can do requests again. So that's totally okay. And um, I was, yes, have glazed strawberry. That is gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome, Karen. Yeah, so I do like have other ones and I can do requests if people want that. Like Solitaire was supposed to be here because she wanted to see this wig, but, and that one is not a Raquel Welsh. So um, let's see. I mean, I can well played. Mm. No, I don't have a well played in this group. That one I do not have. I know that that is, isn't that like a longer lob sort of style, I think, where it's straight, if I remember correctly. This is Big Spender again, and this is in shaded biscuit to show the color that way in case nobody liked the super light unrooted blonde here is a rooted blonde this is the one where somebody was saying was it similar to 
um, cream soda blonde. This would be, if it had no root, it would be biscuit, which is the same kind of color as um, the cream soda blonde. Basically the same mix. And the other one that's like well played but has bangs. Um, do I have current events? I don't think so. No, I don't have current events. Long, straight, layered. Yes, I do have them mesmerized. So this one right here is what I would say is long with layers. There's also a scene stealer coming up, which I can compare the two styles right here because this right here is long and it's got layers. And this is the mesmerized. But the one I've got on is the big spender again, and this is in uh, shaded biscuit. That way you can see the color. Very easy to wear, super pretty. Uh, if you guys haven't shared, please do. And just remember that tonight, if you use the code Allison35, that's A-L-L-I-S-O-N-35, um, you can get 35% off. All right, so here is, this is gonna be scene stealer. This is another long layered style. And I have got her in it's iced macchiato. Yeah, shaded iced latte macchiato. There's kind of a lot going on there. <laughs> Scene stealer, please. Yep, that's what I got right here. Alrighty, she's got her hair net. Going for a ride. All right, so this one here has a full monofilament and it has a lace front that goes ear to ear, which has the velvet ear tabs that are moldable. It is open wefted and stretchy. Uh, the only place where there is velvet is where the Velcro attaches. Here she is. She is long and she's got the layers. She's almost, in my opinion, kind of like this, the uh, mesmerized. That's my favorite Raquel Welch Blonde. A right Vonda, this is such a pretty color. This color to me is like right in between being gray and being blonde. So I really like it because I've like, been really liking the grays recently. Wowza, that's beautiful, says Julia. Right? So here is the lace front. Wig cap, there we go. And her part, you can do it anywhere due to the monofilament. And you can see how good that is. Uh, she says, yes, I love that one. How much? Uh, Shirley will link it. Yes, she hasn't linked. There we go. Uh, it says that Scene Stealer by Raquel Welsh in Shaded Isolate Macchiato. Use code Allison, that's A-L-L-I-S-O-N 35, to get the sale price of $271.83. And for reference... This is the mesmerized. The cap is different, but the length on them, I think, is pretty similar. So I think the biggest difference between the price point would be the fact that the one is considered hand-tied while the other is open wefted. You can see there is the length difference. Feels like they're about the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the latency, I can see that it definitely is pretty similar length and whatnot. The color, Anna, this is the iced uh, latte macchiato, or the shaded iced latte macchiato. It's like a, a bunch of words. <laughs> Do you have any Raquel Welch chin length to go style, etc. grays? Yeah, Sylvia, I showed iced granada earlier, and I also had straight up with a twist. Straight up with a twist was about chin length. So, here she is. This is a really beautiful color, and you can see the layering as I've got it here. It wants to come down. Oh, I can flip it and show you guys if you like volume also. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. There is some more volume added to her, so like a fresh salon blowout. Just make that straight instead of like that. There you go. She has got a lot of volume when you flip her. Oh, you're too cute, doing a great job. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. 
bit late to the party. Hi, which color was that red? Linda, it was this one. This one, it was the deepest ruby. Okie okay, will watch replay. Oh, I can show you again, Sylvia. Let me just get through them and then I can show you. Um, I can do those ones again. The one in Ice Granada, which is portrait mode. And then I can do these straight up with a twist again for you. Ooh, thank you. You're very welcome, Linda. Alrighty. The next one was another one that I really liked. This one is Wavy Day. And this is also in the Shaded Honey Ginger, which is a really pretty warm blonde, but without it being like brassy. Like this is just really pretty. It right kind of reminds me of um the caramel blonde from the new Beltress one. How much for the deepest ruby? I'm still wanting to try red. Um, it has to do with what, what wig you pick, Kimberly. The color is like, you can pick any color. As long as it um, isn't a heat safe wig. I was late watching, haha. No, you don't need to redo for me though. Oh, okay, Sylvia. Well, if you really want to see it, no problem. If I could wish for one thing, it would be to be your memory, Allison. <laughs> you are so good at remembering what you just showed. Oh, yeah. I have a lot going on up here all the time, and it's like, like, nee. So here's a full monofilament lace front that goes ear to ear tap, which is velvet lined. This one here has the same sort of cap as Big Spender, as it has the um, silicone running down that helps to grip your head in extended velvet nape, Velcro adjusters. And let's put this bad boy on because she's pretty. What color do you recommend for someone who's always done blonde? Uh, the particular wig actually. What color red would you recommend? Um, so let's see, Kimberly. You like long. Um, you've been wearing wigs already. It's like this would be your first wig or you've done wigs. It says the particular wig actually. You want me to? Okay. So have yeah, have you ever worn wigs before? So I can recommend that way if you um, an easier wig to work with if it would be your first one, or I could recommend basically anything if you uh, have a good understanding already. Lots of wigs, just scared to do red. Oh, okay. Um, well, you liked the long one. I honestly, um, give me a second. So I do have these because they're also mine. <laughs> All right, so the I have long ones, so you can see the main um, popular reds, and I can show you in a longer length. That way you can see for yourself. This one's just kind of been chilling. All right, so this is the mesmerized wig. However, as we saw with the uh, scene stealer, you can, if you don't want the hand-tied type of cap, you want it open wefted, you can still get the same sort of situation. So this is the Ice Pumpkin Spice Latte on a long wig. So you can see this is what it would look like. This one is kind of on the warm side, but you can tell there. And then I have a long version of Fiery Copper, which is right here. Fiery Copper is one of my favorite Raquel Welsh reds. So if anyone ever says, what's your favorite red for them? I'm, and it's Fiery Copper. I really I really love the fiery copper. I like the blonde and the red mixed through it. I find it just, it's very dynamic and dimensional. That's my favorite. This is very good if you like the more traditional sort of um, coppery blonde or coppery reds and you like the root to help with it to look like you had your hair dyed. And then you have this rich um, deepest ruby, which is if you prefer to go dark and have red at the same time. And you can see how they fit, whoop, try to hold it with my thumb, there we go. You can see how they kind of go through, like this one is the most sort of like natural, this one right here is highly dynamic, and this one is just dark and rich, but it is more cool while these are warm. So if I had to say, like, you you tell me I really love um, reds and I also like blondes, I want to try it. I would say maybe try Fiery Copper because the blonde is still heavily present and you can see it. I would say maybe try that and like kind of tiptoe in. And right, the Rusty Auburn, which is right here, which I've showed already on a longer piece. 
This one is not rooted. It is on the lighter side as opposed to say the fiery copper, which is, it's got the dimension, the rich dimension and the light dimension while this is more um, all one solid color, but it's not, it's heavily blended. But as far as dimension goes, this one definitely has it. Oh goodness, I missed a whole bunch. <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm Irish and very white with freckles. I'm very Irish too, Kimberly. And very white. I don't have freckles though. Golden russet is beautiful. Oh, that's right, Eileen. Golden russet is like fiery copper, but more on the strawberry side. I actually have one of those. I see what you mean, Shirley. Every single time I do this, it always turns into, well, how many wigs can Allison pull out? How many things do I have to link? <laughs> so here's the golden russet. It's not rooted either. And this is a more like highly dimensional sort of, it's more, as opposed to fiery copper, which I find to be more red with a lot of blonde in it. This one is more blonde as you can see, but it does have red in it. So it's highly dimensional and it looks like you had a nice hair like dye job. Um, if I remember correctly, this was Raquel Welch's uh, favorite color also. Um, yes, that's what you're looking for. Oh, okay, I'm Irish too, watching from Ireland. Oh, hi, Elaine. Uh, I want one of one rooted so that copper looks nice. Wait, I'd want one rooted so that copper looks nice. Oh, okay, so that would be the iced pumpkin spice latte. That one is rooted. They're all beautiful. See who's my back home? <laughs> right, Shirley? Sorry, I'm trying to help. None of the ones I mentioned is rooted. Yeah, the one that's rooted is the iced pumpkin spice latte. Oh, Jesus. Can you put that uh, rusty auburn? What's the one you have on now? This one is... It's, it's here somewhere. Give me a second. This is the Shaded Honey Ginger. So it has a root. That's the shaded part. So Bonnie says she's watching from Massachusetts. A lot of my family's from Massachusetts. They either came from Canada or Ireland. And the people who came from Canada came from France or Ireland. So <laughs> it was, yeah, it was Rakalish's favorite. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, I think I might want unfiltered in the fiery copper now instead of the pumpkin spice. Great color comparison. Oh, you're okay, Sharon. Oh, yeah. So let me hold those up one more time for you guys. So I will put on... Get that off. This is the golden russet. I will put her on and then it will hold up the other reds, including the rusty auburn, so you guys can see them all. This is when I need my mom, <laughs> so she can help me. All right, so this is going to be a little kind of cumbersome, but work with me because I think I got everything. Yeah, that's everything. Okay, so both hands. Okay, I'm wearing golden russet. This one right here is rusty auburn. This one right here is the shaded ice pumpkin spice. This one right here is the deepest ruby. And this one right here is fiery copper. So you can see fiery copper and um, the rusty auburn do not have roots. Neither does the golden russet. And technically neither does the deepest ruby. However, the iced pumpkin spice latte does. You can see it's kind of got a dark brown, like medium brown root there. So this is all of the reds that I have that I can show you right here through the Raquel Welsh sort of situation. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Can you put that? Yeah. Uh, that's so cute on you, Allison. Thank you, Teresa. Pumpkin spice in the scene stealer. Oh, Lord, I'm going to get in trouble. I just ordered and received two from Shirley. <laughs> right, Kimberly? That's how I feel. Every time I'm like, I always order more while I still have some in transit. And I'm like, <clears throat> like, what's wrong with me? Kimberly, golden russet might be an option too. More blonde than even fiery copper. Right. 
Thank you. You're great. Thank you, Margaret. Wow. Showing five wigs at once. I'm impressed, right, Kathy? Well, if I had another, like, two to do, that would be probably not very good. <laughs> do I have Showstopper? Showstopper. I do not. I do not have a Showstopper. I do have, let's see. The next one I have is, so if you are interested in reds, I can skip over real quick. Yeah, I don't have a showstopper, Angie, but if you like the reds, since it's kind of on the roll we're on right now, I do have this one hiding in the back right here. Oh, goodness. So this one is not heat safe. This one is called glazed fire. And if you really, really like reds that are vibrant and in your face, this is this one. And I absolutely love this color. I just can't get enough. It has where there is blondes and there is dark red and light red all mixed through. This is just stunning. You did a great job on the reds. Oh, thank you, Karen. Oh, goodness. I'm um, seriously addicted. It's seriously addictive. And I love Shirley. So she's so real. Never, char never changed Miss Shirley. Absolutely, Kimberly. You and I are this <laughs> and on the same boat there. Do I have an Albany? Albany. Is there an Albany wig? Uh, lots of us Irish strawberry blondes tonight. Right, Sheila? Well, that's good because, honestly, Raquel Welsh has a lot of beautiful reds. You know, I also think I lied. I think I have another red to show um, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I have a Cinnabar. <laughs> this, to me, is like the Irish red. Like, I put this on and... It's super Irish, in my opinion, like the super bright in your face, and it goes great with my eyes and my skin tone, and I really love how just in your face it is, <laughs> like my hair is red, and that's what I really love about this one. I plead the fifth on ordering while summer in transit, and now my daughter is wearing wigs again. Oh, goodness, Eileen, there'll be so many wigs in your house. <laughs> Thank you for looking. You're welcome, Angie. Do you have long and straight? Yes, Angie, I have showed Scene Stealer and Mesmerized. Both of those I can hold up again. Whoa, baby, that color. Right, Sharon? Absolutely. Ooh la la, that's gorgeous, says Kimberly. <laughs> yeah, no, she is it's doing something to me. So there's bangs if you want them. Otherwise, because of the full mono, you can part them out of your face and you can change where the parting is once I, or at least I thought there was a full mono. Hold on. This is a different wig. I'm thinking of something else. Nope. This is a left-sided lace part. I don't think I went over the inside of the cap. Hold on. This is called Star Quality. This is in glazed fire. It has a lace front and left-sided lace part. And this is uh, velvet lined and moldable. And it's open wefted and extended nape here and Velcro adjusters. That's your color, right, Karen? Is that star quality? Yes, Brenda. Yeah, I got too excited and put it on before I <laughs> before I talked about it. So yes, this is not heat safe. It has a left sided lace part, and it has just it, this glazed fire is just so fantastic. I can't. It was the picture that I used for the announcement. Was this wig? So she is long and straight. She's got some layers. She does have the ability to get some volume going on. And you can see there is a little bit of the bangs if you want to trim them. Uh, do I have Peerless 23? Angie, I'm showing Raquel Welsh right now. Thank you for pinning that, Marlene. Perfect for St. Patrick Day's coming up. Right? Absolutely, Dominica. I think I need that one, says Kimberly. Yeah, no, me too. <laughs> uh, me too, like honestly. I love that style. I'm loving the bangs. I actually really love the bangs too, Tori, or Tony. Yes, I 100% love how they're like wispy. And if you wanted to make them fuller, you can. And then you can trim them to your own liking, or you can just part them to the side. It's super pretty. I really love this one. I love this color. And in a way, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> so let's continue with the red. This is another Raquel Welsh red, and it's not super, super red, but this is Cinnabar. And this is on the style Day to Date, and this is, in, like I said, the color Cinnabar. This is one that is also not rooted. 
It has a lace front that goes ear to ear and a left-sided lace part. It is open wefted and stretchy, an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjust adjusters. That does look like a real Irish red. Right, Kimberly? My birthday is St. Patrick's Day, says Dolores. That's so cool. My daughter's is almost St. Patrick's Day. Um, hers is the 13th. So day to date, like I said, left sided lace part. This is one where it has these big like um, retro kind of springy curls. And Cinnabar is technically, I would honestly say it's listed as a red, but for me, this looks more brown, like a reddish brown. And it is nowhere near as red as Deepest Ruby is, but you can still see, especially when you put them together, that there is warmth in this brown. So if you are looking for where you want a more brown red color, this is definitely up there. And as far as against an actual brown, you can see how this one is still pulling lots of warmth. This one you can tell is very brown. This one is golden. Well, this one is definitely like red, red. So she's long enough to put up if you wanted. That's for sure. Love that, says Colleen. Yes, use code Allison35 uh, for 35% off discount. Um, is she heat friendly? Yes, Deanna. Yes. Day-to-day uh, -day is heat friendly. Oh, that's right, Shirley. That You and Dean are both Pisces. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so yours is the 11th, my daughter's is the 13th, Dean's is the 15th, and then Dolores is, what, uh, St. Patrick Day is the 17th, correct? Yeah. You like you like the Cinnabar, Margaret? Love Cinnabar day to date, says Jocelyn. Yeah, no, this is, I really love the curl pattern. It's so pretty. Cool, says Dolores. Thank you. You're welcome, Deanna. Star quality isn't heat friendly, is she? No, she's not Kimberly. Yeah, she doesn't come in that that's for sure it's a different kind of red so for instance if you have i've been showing the heat safe ones on the long ones so like deepest ruby the ice pumpkin spice latte the golden ginger the fiery copper all of those are heat safe but when it comes to the um star quality with the fiery copper this one is not heat safe and you can be held by like how shiny it is the other ones that were also not heat safe that were red would be like this is the glazed strawberry with the fiery copper and then you have, um, this is the glazed cinnamon. And you can see these are the non-heat safe reds. This one obviously being the most gingery, coppery, fiery bit. But this is the cinnabar. This is the glazed, excuse me, glazed cinnamon, <laughs> glazed strawberry, and glazed fr uh, fire. So there you go. Those are all of those as far as reds go. stumble over myself with all the different, different names. There we go. I'm going to keep them straight. Oh, you too, Margaret. Yours is the 16th. Goodness. I always wear red. So my Patrick's Day wig is green. Oh my goodness, Sheila. You'll have to post pictures of that. Shirley, your birthday will be my 23rd anniversary of not smoking. Oh, congrats, Andy. Love to have a green wig, says Dolores. Pretty, says Sheila. Thank you. All right, so let's go to, this is another not heat safe one. This is Watch Me Wow, and this is in shaded cream. So this is like a platinum that is rooted. This one has a different kind of cap. So it is like basic, but it has a lace front right here. And that lace front does go ear to ear, and it has velvet lined ear tabs that are moldable. This also has kind of like the big spender where it's got the, you can't see it very well, but there is silicone lining it and it has an extended velvet nape and velcro adjusters you have a green one too eileen oh goodness i know that shirley has some green wigs i don't think i have a green wig at all all right so here we go watch me wow there we go so this is super pretty if you like the star quality. This is kind of like a same, a same sort of situation where it has, there's a little bit of the bang here. It's more to the side here. They're both, this one just has the permatease on top so you can really get in there if you wanted to, but it has the 
uh, non heat safe fibers and it is still long enough to do stuff with if you wanted to. I would say this is a very easy like throw and go sort of wig. Uh, which wig is this Cinnabar? It was a, it was called Day to Date. Day to Date in the color Cinnabar, Sheila. Super pretty with all the curls. You can see it's they're like these big S curls. Not the Toxic Avenger Green. I have oh Green in Real Life from Hairdo. Yeah, I know that Shirley sells that one. That's for sure. Because I've looked at it, I was like, oh, it's a pretty dark green, like almost like an emerald. There is that one. This one's super pretty. I feel like this would be super easy to wear. I like this one. And here is the rooting in case you're wondering about how dark it is. You can see it really isn't dark. It's almost like a shadow root with where the color is concentrated and then it just kind of fades away. Um, but as far as permatease, you can see the permatease through here. But when you break the part and then lay the hair down correctly, it shouldn't be as obvious. Right. And so for my last one, this is this is Spotlight and this is in the color uh, Shaded Ice Cappuccino. So Shaded Ice Cappuccino, this one reminds me a little bit of mm, kind of like a shorter version of the Scene Stealer. So this has got a full monofilament right here. Why is it not straight on? There we go. Full monofilament, lace front right here. And you have your uh, velvet covered ear tabs that are moldable, open, wafted, and stretchy. The only bit that has any of the Velcro or velour is where the Velcro adjusters come onto. So this is a really popular style. It has these beautiful like face framing like fringe and then it just really this like you can see there's the fringe here and then it goes this way and then there's this level and then this level. So there's quite a few like bits of feathering and layering. It's super pretty. It's definitely long enough to put up with if you want it to do that or tie her back. Ooh, spotlight, says Kimberly, right? Uh, Sheila says March 11th. Is your birthday? Oh, goodness, there's a lot of people's birthdays coming. Uh, Marlene says spotlight is available in petite, average, and large, as well as hand tied. Yes, that's correct. She comes in a bunch of different versions. This is just the regular, average sized, like normal one. So, this right here, you can see here is what the parting space looks like, is the lace front, which laying down it looks like pretty well yeah she's laying down on me quite well but she is a gorgeous wig uh shirley says awesome congratulations on non-smoking my 15th anniversary will be august 19th congratulations shirley that's not, that's actually a really long time too uh colleen this color is shaded iced cappuccino she is Kind of similar to the other ones that I showed, like this one is the shaded uh, cappuccino. So like uh, this is one that is very close to this one right here is very similar to the uh, brown sugar sweet cream. And you can see where it falls in line with that. This is the difference between the iced and then the regular shaded cappuccino. Alrighty. So that's been all of them so far so if anyone has a request you can go ahead and do that uh i think i want spotlight in that rooted red talk me out of it please kimberly i don't know how to do that <laughs> all i know how to do is enable people <laughs> i'm totally joking but yeah i really think that the spotlight would be super pretty in the um the rooted one, so that would be the ice pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, no, I think that would be really pretty. And I know I'm supposed to be talking you out of it, but like I said, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Yay, good job, Shirley, says Andy. Yay! Okay, so if anyone has a request, we can go ahead and do those. Um, I am going to throw on 
a random wig that way if solitaire happens to come on because i don't see her in the chat but if she does come on and watches the replay she wanted to see this so solitaire if you're here or you watch the replay this is the Tresalor California Beach Waves that you wanted to see. This is the 273033H uh, color. So I know this is a Raquel Welsh, but so this full monofilament right here, and it has the velvet ear tabs that are moldable. It is open wefted and stretchy, an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. I think this is the first time watching you and I'm so excited, says Bonnie. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. I love that one, says Colleen. The grays again, please. Yes, Kathleen, I will. So here is so the California Beach Wave by Trezalore. This is not Raquel Welsh. The brand is Trezalore. This is their, what I would consider their most natural red. It does not have a root. It is blended, however, and it has, it is California Beach Wave. So it's got a heavy fringe that can be moved. You can, with the full monofilament, you can move it wherever you want. And Trezalor's fibers are super soft and easy to work with, so you can quite literally do whatever you want with them in that capacity. There is the long length of them, so there's quite a few going on. And I know that Solitaire likes having her wigs be kind of fluffy. And when you do brush out the uh, Trezalor wigs, and this is a white tooth comb, so you can see how I'm doing this. They do become a little more natural instead of like tendrily looking. So you can come across. Here we go. Look at you <laughs> surely loves you, Marlene. <laughs> yeah, I'd say Marlene's helping me out here. Yes, so the grays. Did you show the brunettes? The brunettes, Colleen, I had one kind of brunette, really, I think. So here is that brushed out. Solitaire's not here, so I'm gonna move on. So there's that. All right. Okay, so the grays again. Yeah, so the iced granada that I have, um, Kathleen is in uh, portrait mode. That's the gray one that I have in this shipment here. So here she is. I know this one's been super popular. This is Iced Granada. This is in the uh, portrait mode. Like I said, she's got a full monofilament lace front. Um, she's open wefted. She has an extended velvet nape. But Iced Granada is a super pretty color. You can see it is much lighter in the front to um, act like hair that is growing out of your head. If you have gray hair for the most part, that's how it tends to work is it's lighter in the front. And then as you go towards the back, the back ends up being darker at your nape. And then you have the salt and pepper mix. In this color in particular, it has where it has more salt than pepper and you can see how good that lace front is with the lighter colors. Let's see how close I can get. So she's super pretty. The brunettes, let's see. Um, I had a shaded hazelnut. This one right here, Colleen, as a brunette. I thought cinnabar as being a warm brunette is really pretty too because honestly in comparison to the other reds it looks more brown than it does red so you have shaded hazelnut here that is more golden and it is rooted and cinnabar is not rooted but it is a warmer reddish sort of brown and that's really all that's in this shipment Tresalore undercut bob yes i do have one of those karen oh, oh goodness where are we Mm. I love Shirley too, says Marlene. <laughs> I love you more, says Shirley. <laughs> Could you show Wavy Day again, Allison? Yes, I can, Sheila. Could you sh uh, yes, thank you for reminding everyone, uh, Marlene, with the Allison 35 for 35% 35 off. Here is Miss Wavy Day. She has a full monofilament, 
It lengths front that goes ear to ear, and she has an extended velvet nape, Velcro adjusters. This is in the color uh, Shaded Golden Honey, Honey Ginger, excuse me. Shaded Honey Ginger. So she, I like this style. I think it's really pretty. It comes right away from the face, and it is not too long while also still giving you length if that's what you want. I would put this in the same sort of classification as like an easy um, style to wear, kind of like I find Big Spender is super easy to wear. I think this one falls into there. I think the um, editor's pick falls into there really easy. And of course the short ones, you just throw them on. Having a problem finding the right colors on me. Oh, what colors do you like, Colleen? Uh, the Trezalore Undercut Bob. And your, oh, this is one of your favorite? Marlene, oh, what's, I can see. Which color, which brown do you like, Marlene? Which one's your favorite? We are a very lovey team, aren't we? Right, Shirley? <laughs> I think so. Like, I talked to you, I talked to Marlene, and we're all just like, we're best friends. I love you. <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely are. Okay. So you missed editor's pick. This is actually the same color. It's the honey ginger. This one's the hand tied uh, elite version. So it's got a hand tied segment through here. Then it's oh, it's closed wefted, extended velvet nape, uh, full monofilament, lace front that goes ear to ear. I will put her on and I will get out the Trezalore undercut bob. Okay. It's a long version of editor's pick to me, says Eileen. Oh, okay. Wavy day is a long version of editor's pick. I would agree with you. And I think that's why I like editor's pick. I think I think you're right. Absolutely. My favorite brunette is iced cafe latte. Oh, okay, so I actually had that one. So you would consider that a brown? Okay. Well, then I guess, Colleen, I do actually have the iced cafe latte right here. Yes, shaded iced cafe latte is right here. Marlene says that this is her favorite, um, her favorite brunette. I like the colors, but they don't look good on me. Do you know what your undertone is, Colleen? Like, what kind of skin tone do you have? Pretty, says Rhonda. So there is Marlene's favorite brown. Let me get the... I'm gonna... My back wants to crack, too. So, yeah, there it goes. Where did you go? So the big boxes, those are long. Let me fix this one then. Yep, okay. So here's an undercut bob in an unrooted blonde. I will show this one. Uh, me too, Marlene, says Sheila. Yes, Ice Cafe Latte is a cool brunette. For a warm brunette, I'd go with Shaded Hazelnut. Yep, absolutely. What color is that again, Wavy Day, and the one you have on? It's the same one, Denise. The same color. It was um, Shaded Honey Ginger. I love seeing Marlene in the dark colors. I can't wear them, but she, but she sure can, so I'm, again, je I'm, uh, you're jealous. Yeah, Kimberly, and she does it really well. Her olive skin complexion works super great with the really dark colors. I can't do it. Pretty fair, maybe pink undertone. Okay, so Colleen, I would stick with cool then. So I would say with pink undertone. You like brunettes? I would say that the iced cafe latte would work well for you because it's an iced uh, cafe latte or because it's iced, that means it has cool tones to it. So I would suggest that one if you haven't tried it already. I would say the iced cafe latte for sure. Um because if you have pink, very fair undertones, I would assume your ancestry is from the like UK predominantly, correct? It, especially with a skin tone like that, then I would say definitely cool tones for sure. I've just got a lot of hairs poking through the back real quick. Okay, there we go. Let me put this on. So this is the Trezalore Undercut Bob. This is in the color, um, 252788. This is a full monofilament lace front with a Velcro uh, um, velvet ear tabs that are moldable. It is open wefted. It has got an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. She's 
technically mine and I don't need the wig cap on, but it's whatevs. Oh, you're Irish too? It's apparently the, just the Irish party tonight. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, shaded hazel hazelnut has a root and hazelnut doesn't. Yes. You're Irish. Yeah, okay, so like I said, the UK. So I would definitely say that you could, honestly, there are, if you are more pink toned, you would probably do better with cool tones. Uh, if you're someone who's neutral like me, you could go both ways. But since you're saying there are ones that you don't like on you, I would think that the, you, do team, you do tend to lean either warm or cool. So with cool pink undertones, I would say something like the iced, the shaded iced cafe latte would work really well for you, for sure. Do you have any gradient charcoal? I do not, Gloria. Marlene, my natural hair is one shade above black, and let me tell you, I look like I need to be in a morgue. Oh my goodness. So if your bio hair is a brown going gray, what's the best wig color for natural looking? Sandra, you could do anything, honestly, and it can be natural looking. Like, you watch me put on, like, like, uh, like 30 wigs, and they're all different colors, all different shades, and I can... Well, I mean, I guess maybe I'm different than other people when it comes to skin undertones, but if you have brown hair, you could do full brown. You could also do full gray, or you could do one of those ones, like I know, like Noriko has a good variety of grays where they have like, sa like sandy mink or s silky mink or something like that is really pretty where it has where there's gray mixed with other colors and it just is really super pretty. And like, there's another one called Midnight Pearl, which is super pretty where it's like white almost in the front and like black almost everywhere else. That's super pretty. There's quite a few options. Uh, yes, okay, thanks. I uh, think I got Caramel Laguna Beach and it looks horrible on me. That would be warm toned, yeah. So straight up with a twist, please. Yes, Joan, I can put her on for you. Alrighty, so straight up with a twist. This one is the elite version because I don't have the other one. This is full monofilament lace front ear tabs that are velvet and adjustable. It has a tan tied segment through here. This is close wefted. It has an extended velvet, velvet uh, Velcro adjusters and the extenders are hidden within the cap so that it's more streamlined here. Does red hair look okay with light eyes? I have gray eyes and I always thought you go by eyes and not skin tone. So Kimberly, um, I don't know how my eyeballs are coming off. Let me see if I can, sorry, this is probably super weird. Um, my eyes are weird. Um, they are muted, so they're like gray toned, but they can go either blue or green depending on what's around. And so I think I look best in lighter colors and in red, and that's just my opinion. I mean, this looks pretty natural also, but I go by skin tone and eye color, and if you put something on and you just don't feel pretty, you don't like the way it looks, or somebody's like, people will tell you a lot of the time, especially family members, if they do or don't like it, like my mom in particular, when it's dark, she doesn't like it on me. Uh, my husband really likes blondes and grays and reds on me, which is kind of like broad spectrum, right? Uh, does red hair look, yeah. Check, right, the three-tone gray from Trezalor. A gorgeous gray with dark root and dark under hair. Absolutely, Linda. I actually really love that one. Uh, thanks for bringing up those Noriko colors in gray. I'm getting Alva prototypes done right now in Midnight Pearl and two other grays. <gasps> Yay, Shirley! Ooh, Midnight Pearl. Like, that color is so pretty. Eileen says, I have green, blue eyes, and I'm a natural redhead and wear mainly reds. Yeah, so I'm... Okay, so I have, like, a neutral skin tone. I'm also really muted. So my natural hair color and my eyeballs are all gray-toned. Uh, gray shaded, like muted, like we were talking about seasons or something. So they're a muted blue gray color, and my hair is like a mousy dishwater blonde sort of situation. You can see how this looks really natural, and this is extremely um, neutral leaning. But I can do the reds because I, with a neutral skin tone, 
and palette and whatnot can really throw it in one direction or the other. So I can do like the platinum icy white, but then I can turn around and do like a raging fiery red at the same time. So I really think it's just what you're most comfortable in. Um, mine too. They look green or brown sometimes and sometimes blue. I'll be weird with you because you're stinky cute, says Kimberly. Yeah, weird girls group. Let's do it. Say Marlene knows all about it. <laughs> and Marlene says, put my name on those to Shirley about the new wigs. Yes, I need a sky in Midnight Pearl because that wig, I still am just thinking about it. I had it one time for a party and I can't stop thinking about it. My eyes are green hazel and I was a natural strawberry blonde. I wear lighter reds like rusty auburn. Oh, see, I bet you that's really natural and pretty looking too. I'm just, I always thought my hair and everything was boring when I was little. And I was just like, I just feel so plain. And I always had to wear like plain stuff because it just, otherwise it would kind of throw everything off. Like it looked like I was wearing, it, like the color was wearing me, not I was wearing the color. You know, they are yours. First review always, says Shirley. <laughs> Back to Marlene. So yes. I would dye my hair red for like the longest time, like fire truck red, because I liked the way it was. And that's why I really like like the glazed fire. I'm neutral skin tone too. Do you change your foundation to be more cool or warm if choose a warmer, a cooler warm wig for that day? Okay, so Sharon, I do um, change, not my foundation. I keep my foundation the same because it's also neutral itself. I do, however, play with the lip color and I play with the eyeshadow. So I also will wear like the correct clothes. So if I'm wearing something cool, I will wear more cool eyeshadow and a lip color that's either neutral or cool. Um, and then the same with the warm. I will either put like brown with orange or green or purple sometimes. I will, I kind of tend to blend it so it's very neutral overall for the most part, but I can just do it that way. All right, so any more requests? Otherwise my stomach's growling and I will, haven't eaten dinner yet. <laughs> So I need to make something. Yeah, absolutely, Sharon. Yeah, I, surely we were going to do makeup at one point. I know, I don't know if more people would be interested in that again or not. I do the same as you with the clothes, lipstick, and eyes. Right, Marlene? Because you can just tie the whole thing together. It's like a package. Just complete everything. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, Kimberly. Thank you so much. Enjoyed it. You're very welcome, Leanne. And my mom... Before you guys jump off, my mom will be here tomorrow, and so we can either go over the all of that again or whatever, um, so you can have another person to look at who does it, and she herself is very Irish also, with a different skin tone. So hers is a little deeper than mine. Her eyes are much bluer. Uh, Colleen says, thank you so much. You're very welcome. I do makeup. Love it, says Kimberly. Yay! All right, ladies, so... Just to wrap everything up, everything, if you hit replay and watch it, then you can save 35% uh, with the um, discount code of Allison, that's A-L-L-I-S-O-N 35 on any of the Raquel Welsh. And then tomorrow my mom and I will be on and we will be able to go over the wigs again and you can see it on a whole other person. Good night, Allison and Trillian ladies, says Kathleen. Good night. Thank you so much, Allison. Outstanding and helpful life as always. Thank you, Marlene. I'm lucky to get out of face bed and wash my face. Surely, goodness. <laughs> Have a great night too, Karen. You're very welcome, Dominica. Thank you, Sheila. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow at 7 Eastern Standard Time with my mom. So until then, I will see you on the internet. <laughs> You're very welcome, Jocelyn. Good night, everyone.